In this video, we're going to be doing an application problem of finding the surface area of a honeycomb. So the surface area S in square inches of a honeycomb is given by S equals 6HS plus 3 halves S squared times the square root of 3 minus cosine theta divided by the sine of theta. And it's going to be that theta is between 0 and 90 degrees. And so we have that h is 2.4 inches, so our h is 2.4 inches. We have that little s is 0.75 inches. And that theta is the angle indicated in our diagram. Oh, went a little bit too far there. There we go. So we're finding our capital S here. So it says for what values of theta is the surface area 12 inches square? So remember our surface area is that 12, right? The surface area is that 12 square inches. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug in the 12 into that spot. So we're going to have 12, because we're plugging that into our S spot, equals 6 times our h, which we have is 2.4 times our little s of 0 0.75 plus 3 halves of our little s quantity squared times the square root of 3 minus the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta. Because remember, it's saying for what values of theta. So we don't know what theta is. So when we multiply this out, we get 12 equals 10.8 plus 0 0.84375 because we plugged that into the calculator, that's where that came from, times the square root of 3 minus the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta. And now we're really going to try and get down to where we get the thetas by themselves. So let's give ourselves just a little bit more room here. So we're going to subtract 10.8 from both sides, which is going to give us 1.2 equals 0 0.84375 times the square root of 3 minus the cosine of theta over the sine of theta. And this really, because of this fraction right here, doesn't seem like it's going to be something that's easy to solve. So our calculator is probably going to be our best bet. So we're going to move that 1.2 over to the other side so that we can plug this into our calculator. So we're going to have 0 0.84375 times the square root of 3 minus the cosine of theta divided by the sine of theta minus 1.2. And so this is what we're going to plug in to our calculator. So let's pull up our calculator. And so we're going to go to our y equals and we'll go 0 0.84375 four, three, seven, five times, and we'll go ahead and put in a fraction there, the square root of three, and get out of the square root, minus the cosine of x over the sine of x, close parentheses, and then minus 1.2. And now we need to think about what do we need for our window here? What do we need for our window? And so we go to our window, and so we were told this was between 0 and 90. The theta was between 0 and 90. So that's our x, so between 0 and 90. And then let's try graphing that, and let's see what we can find. Well, that looks a little cumbersome. Chances are, if we see something like this, we're probably in the wrong mode. So you want to check your mode and make sure that we're in degrees. And then when we graph that, we're going to get a slightly different picture. This is kind of difficult to see with what we've got. So let's change our y values. Let's go to our windows again. 
and let's change our y value to a y minimum of negative 0 0.02 and to a y maximum of 0 0.05 and then let's hit graph and now we can see our graph there's a lot of little digits there so if we wanted to we could clean this up by changing our x scale to something like a 10 and now it's going to be a little bit easier to see there and so now we're going to use our calculate feature so we're going to go to second calculate and we want to use option number two and find our zero values so we want to know, are you on the left hand side of your first intersection point and we are then it says go to the right hand side of your intersection point so we want to make sure our intersection point is between our two lines which it is so we'll hit enter and that's going to give us a value of 49.91 and so we can say that our first estimate here is that theta is going to be approximately 49.9 degrees but remember there were two intersection points so we're going to have another theta as well so let's calculate that so second trace option number two and then we're going to go you know, on the left hand side we move over to the right hand side and our intersection point should be between our two lines, which it is. So we'll hit enter. And that's going to give us a 59.86 or 59.9. So here we'll have a 59.9 degrees. And so now we have found for what values of theta the surface area is 12 square inches. So suppose that we want to know what value of theta gives the minimum surface area? So recall that the minimum of a function would be its lowest point. So let's take our equation and we can recall back to here, we, if we come back up here, we want to get this equation right there, that, that portion of that equation. And so we're going to write down that the surface area equals that 10.8 plus 0.84375 times the square root of 3 minus our cosine of theta over the sine of theta and now we're going to graph this so we'll pull up our graphing calculator and we'll clear that out so 10.8 plus 0.84375 three seven five oops five times so we pull up a fraction again so we get radical three minus the cosine of x over the sine of x and get out of that and close the parenthesis and now we're ready to graph this but we're probably going to need to change our window just a little bit so why don't we go ahead and let's change our, our y's from maybe something like 0 to, because you can't have a zero surface, a negative surface area. So from 0 to maybe 20, and let's count by 2. So let's see what that does for us. We're going to hit graph. And that seems to be okay, but maybe we need to go a little bit farther on our x axis so we're not really being restricted with this portion so we'll go back to our window and let's go up to 200 and let's count by 25s so we'll hit graph ah, and now we see right here that we actually have kind of a minimum happening somewhere in this area so we're going to calculate that minimum so we're going to go to second trace and we're looking for our minimum value and so it wants us to be on the left hand side of what we think is the minimum so we'll have to move kind of far to get over there with where we have our window. So I'm going to be nice and safe and make sure I'm definitely not on there. So I'm definitely not at the minimum right now. And then over on the right hand side, I'll probably go to about the same place, but on the right hand side. Just keep moving over there. And so when I'm sure I'm not on the minimum, I'm going to hit enter. And my minimum should be somewhere between those two lines, which it is.
So I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to say that my minimum is at about 54.74,11.99. Since we're looking for theta, we're looking for the x value because that represented our theta. So about 54.7 degrees. So for theta being about 54.7 degrees. And so we can say that a theta value of approximately 54.7 degrees degrees will give us the minimum surface area of that honeycomb.